relief to the internet from a climate research facility. And those emails seem to imply that climate researchers are manipulating data. And it became a huge internet scandal. But those climate researchers were looking at tree rings and trying to reconstruct the climate something like 10,000 years ago. Of course they're going to manipulate that. How else tree rings turn into climate? <laughs> random and we measure it wrong and we tend to measure the wrong things and we invented an entire science called statistics to clean up the data and figure out what's relevant and what's not. Moreover, it's perfectly legitimate for a researcher to figure out that he blew, botched an experiment, everything sucks, I have to throw it all out and do it over again. And it's not a conspiracy, it's a legitimate thing to do with data. We sometimes fuck things up. And the reason we can tell we fuck things up is that we have models, and models are our understand, current understand, best understanding of how the world works, and it's wonderful, it allows us to predict the future, know what the weather will be like tomorrow, and how to cure diseases. So, but as wonderful as models are, don't throw away all the data, because all innovation is people saying, this is all. Fleming looking at the Bosch experiment and saying, hmm, there's something interesting, and a few years later you have antibiotics. These days, data is more relevant than ever. There's a lot of it, and there is a lot of ways to process it, compute it, and manipulate it. There's more processing power than ever. And it seems to even be in the right hands. And with enough data, you can do wonderful things. You can change the world. Google basically changed the entire way the world is doing a lot of things just by having a lot of data, a lot of servers, and pretty simple learning algorithms that change the world, they change advertisement, not by doing better market research, having better trends, better focus groups, but by having more data and smarter people looking at the data. And it goes for a lot of other fields. Natural languages turn, and automatic translation was the hardest problem in the world. A lot of experts built databases of a lot of carefully written rules, thousands of them were slow and sucked, it, it was horrible. And Google came along and showed that with enough data, you don't have to be that smart about it. And the computers invented their own ways of translating, and it probably wouldn't make that much sense to a human translator to look at what the computers are doing and learn from it. But we know the model the computer came up with is good because it works. And it's my hope that businesses will learn from it and will not hire MBAs to <laughs> tell them which data to do it. But rather we hire statisticians to get the machines to figure out what, which data is which. With the slight caveat that if you have a lot of data and you look for relations, tons of it is going to be complete junk. Correlations that look nice but have absolutely no meaning. For example, the fact that Pete and Adam are very popular names for CEOs and are overrepresented in the CEO community doesn't mean anything. It doesn't allow us to understand the world better to make better predictions. But if you have a way to process data, you can have a ship going around the world, collecting water, and analyzing the genetic material in the water to find new species automatically, just because the DNA is different enough. In the past, to figure out that uh, you found a new species, you knew everything about it. You followed it for years, you knew its exact sex life. And now you don't have to know anything. You just have to say, hmm, that's nice DNA over there. <laughs> Medicine companies sometimes say, OK, we have a new cure for schizophrenia. And they do research, they test some patients, and they find out that, oh my god, the patients are actually doing worse. They have more relapses, and they're not doing any better. But they don't have to worry. They have a lot of data. One of the things they tested, something like you know, coordination or short-term memory, it probably improved. Because if you <laughs> measure million things, something improved. You just publish this result, no more. So obviously, with great data comes great responsibility. <laughs> don't cheat. Don't cherry pick. Don't ignore the wrong results. Do ignore the, the right the results you should ignore. And that's the important message here. You can see the clear correlation between the global warming and the, the fewer pirates in the ocean. Please help save the world become a pirate. Okay.